The Council on American-Islamic Relations condemned the decision to dismiss charges against a Chattanooga man who was seen on video on the doorstep of a mosque. We're not naming him because those charges were dropped. The communications director says in part, this is for the district attorney's office, dismissing the charges, I'm sorry, this is on behalf of the council here, dismissing the charges against the suspect so quickly and easily is an apparent example of a double standard at play whenever Muslims or their institutions are targeted. It also sets a dangerous precedent for future incidents. You can read the full statement on our website. Now, yesterday, Hamilton County District Attorney Cody Womp told us she dismissed those charges because, quote, we don't send people to jail for peeing on buildings. She says the suspect did 42 hours of community service. Israel is working on a response after Iran attacked with ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones over the weekend. The attack failed after 99% of Iran's incoming fire was shut down by Israeli air defense systems with extensive help from the U.S. and other allies. U.S. officials expect the response to be limited in scope, but Israel is keeping the world guessing about what the response will be. Amid the ongoing war, an Israeli native with the Jewish Federation of Greater Chattanooga wants to spread awareness. Dallas Payton spoke with him about the work he's doing as well as life for his family back home. Dallas. David Cindy Offer only wants to use his first name for his protection. He's an Israeli cultural emissary for the Jewish, Jewish Feder, Federation, meaning that he educates the Jewish community about the Israel culture. Now, although he spent time helping others here, his family back home is always on the back of his mind. Offer came to Chattanooga in late September of 2023, just weeks before the war started. He expressed that some days are better than others for him. This is hard. This is hard to, to know that, like, I'm here living my life while my friends are either hiding in a bomb shelter or running away from rockets or just fearing like they don't know when the next siren is going to go off. Sirens mean that missiles are coming from Gaza or Hezbollah into Israel and that people need to seek shelter. Offer expressed that the work he does for the Jewish Federation keeps him from dropping everything and going back to be with his people. The fact that I know that I'm needed, the fact that I know that people ask me stuff, they need me to, they need me to tell them what's happening. Uh, the fact that I meet a lot of different kind of people, I work with basically every age group in the community. Offer says that his friends in Chattanooga check on his mental health. He's also able to communicate with this immediate family on a daily basis, making life easier. With some other family members, it's harder. Some of them are uh, reserved in the, in the IDF, so they can't always pick up the phone. Uh, or just because sometimes there is a seven hours of time difference between, between here and back home. So they might not be able to, they might be asleep. While there's been months of chaos in Israel, Offer says his people try their best to live a normal life. They go to work, they go to uh, uh, family events, or uh, they're trying to celebrate our holidays in their best way that they can with the, rem the reminder that we're still in a war, but we're trying to not dwell on that 24-7. Now offer plans to spend another year here to continue to educate the Jewish community about the Israel culture.